and, and, and the week before we had Senator Edwards. And my question for you is, of all the Democratic candidates out there, why should I vote for the one with the least political experience? Well, my question, my question to Vivek is why should I vote for somebody who has no political experience, no experience with working with any community? Why should I vote for you? Do you guys hear that? Shh, listen, listen. If, if you listen real close, if you listen real close, you will hear the sweet, beautiful melodies of Republican hypocrisy. If, if you got the ears to hear, if, if you trained yourself when it comes to hearing the hypocrisy, the garbage of the Republican Party, you'll be able to hear it like, like a dog whistle. You know what I'm saying? Only something that your ears can pick up. And people will think you're crazy. You know, people will be like, you know, you're, you don't know what you're talking about. What, what, what there's, there's nothing. What are you, t you're the crazy one. But then just like, you know, the ending of a movie, it's, it's, it's a canon event. It's going to happen. And when I say it's going to happen, the Republican party is the party of hypocrisy. Just about everything they preach when it comes to them practicing throughout their lives, it's hypocrisy. It's, it's really no other way to explain that. Just like, for example, when it comes to uh, the divorce rates, you know, the, the Republican is supposed to be the family or, or the party of family, of the nuclear family. The man stays with the woman. The woman stays with the man through any means necessary. But they have the highest divorce rates out of either party why is that you know what i'm saying so it, it shouldn't shock you when when mr vivic you know an old video surface and it, it's not that really old because vivix is my age you know what i'm saying so when this video arises no one should be shocked i mean a lot of people are but if you know if you can listen if you got the ears to hear you'll be able to be like yeah I, I knew something like this was coming. And if, if, if you don't know what video I'm talking about, let's go ahead and watch it. Let's go ahead and watch this video. And we're gonna have that conversation. No, as Nikki Haley called Vivek Ramaswamy naive in, in that clip and inexperienced, he's making a virtue of that. The fact that he is a Washington outsider. Well, there was a clip circulating on social media of a 2003 presidential town hall on MSNBC's Hardball with Chris Matthews with one Reverend Al Sharpton, who was running for president in 2004 campaign, questioned by a young student about his experience. That student, Vivek Ramaswamy. Of course. <laughs> Good, let's get to my question here. Go ahead. Reverend Sharpton, hello. I'm Vivek, and I want to ask you, uh, last week on the show we had Senator Kerry, and this week, and, and, and the week before we had Senator Edwards, and my question for you is, of all the Democratic candidates out there, why should I vote for the one with the least political experience? Well, you shouldn't, because I have the most political experience. <laughs> I got involved in the political uh, movement when I was 12 years old. And I've been involved in social policy for the last 30 years. So don't confuse people that have a job with political experience. <laughs> Uh, whoever the head of, uh, uh, of, of some local bureaucracy has a job in Cambridge. That doesn't mean that they have political experience, and it doesn't mean they have the experience to uh, run the United States uh, government. So I think that we confuse title holders with political experience, as we have, uh, have seen with the present occupant in the White House. George Bush was a governor and clearly has shown he doesn't have political experience. <laughs> Hey, hey, you can't tell me he has that same smile. Political experience. Hold on. <laughs> hey, that same, hey, that million dollar smile right there. <laughs> like, like, I gotta admit, he has nothing to say. But let, let's, let's, let's continue. Let's continue. Next one. <laughs> that was 20 years ago. All right. <laughs> that was 20 years ago. So that means he was like 18 years old. 
let's let's go ahead and flip this. Let's... So Vivek twenty years ago brought up a good question. Why should I vote for someone who has the least political experience? And Al Sharpton, he answered him, which I, I think was probably even a better answer. It was like, hey, don't get don't get confused with history. You know, feet on the ground, actually in the streets doing the work with a job title. Just because you have that job title don't mean nothing. And, and that's something that I like with Cornell West. He may not have held any political uh, chair or spot, but he's been uh, 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 working in them streets, and, and you know, not in a pros you know, in a in a prostitute way, but he's been out there for the people in the community, actually talking, rubbing elbows with these people since he was like 12, 13 years old. Go ahead and read one of his books; you'll figure it out for yourself. But it's weird how when uh, the young lady uh, on the Breakfast Club, she she asked him what kind of uh, background, what kind of history. Uh, do you have when it comes to serving the community and not just, you know, doing it for yourself at the end of the day. And people thought she was crazy. People were like, you know, she just served in the military, but she got paid and blah, you know, a bunch of excuses. But at the end of the day, he had no answer for it because everything he's ever done was only for himself to only profit himself, which I, is cool. Go ahead and do that. But when it comes to a position as president, on paper at least, you know, like how people have utilized the, the presidential office is another thing. But on paper, the person sitting in that chair has to be able to have a heart for the people, understand the people. And we're, we're not talking about just the Republicans or just Democrats. We're talking about millions of people 331 million people you know what i'm saying and you know my nose is a little stuff so go ahead and pardon me with that but i mean it's it's crazy how all of a sudden when and and, and these are the kind of politicians we need to watch out for it's okay to have a change of heart when it comes to you know uh, a, a political topic you know you might be a little bit more um more knowledgeable in a situation and you might be able to to tweak or change your opinion or your perspective on a certain matter but when it comes to fundamentals politicians they will switch on a dime just to make sure they get as many votes as possible and one thing about mr vivek like, like i said he's like that used car salesman not not a new car used car you know what I'm saying? So you have to believe them when they show you who they are, when they tell you who they are. Trust that gut instinct and trust them. So I, I, I don't know if he's responded to this, but my question, my question to Vivek is why should I vote for somebody who has no political experience no experience with working with any community why should i vote for you